Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this little video here. We got a shop update. I got some dust collection upgrades that really, ooh, I gotta share these with you. And I got a new shop chair. Not that it really matters, but I'm trying something with one inch casters. Never in a million years would I think one inch casters would support me, but they do, and I'm gonna share it with you. Pretty cool. All right, let's go. Okay, truth be told, I'm gonna link some products in this video. Um, some I really recommend, and I'm gonna show you some of the pitfalls of some of the ones that I've replaced. Um, not talking any type of bad about any company whatsoever. In fact, I speak very highly of who I'm gonna talk about here, but it's not sponsored, but they're gonna be linked below. Secondly, <clears throat> video production on the main channel has been a little bit slow. Um, some talking videos, some, uh, well, you get it, right? So I'm gonna tell you, this video is coming out, should be on a Monday evening. Uh, if it's coming out Tuesday, that means my kids are going back to school today. Uh, if not, it's tomorrow. Um, and <clears throat> I'm very thankful that, that, that my kids go to school year round. Um, as you know, if you've seen my going full time video, you know they um, they definitely uh, would benefit from going to school year round. Um, <clears throat> so I'm very thankful that they're in the hands of professionals who can really help them with their situations. Uh, but these three weeks, they've been home with dad. So it's been, uh, it's been really fun, don't get me wrong, but I just can't come out here and work as diligently as I want with children being here. So yeah, okay, all right, let's dive in. Okay, first order of business. This, this video is on the second channel, um, and I'm gonna kind of talk freely about some companies here, uh, some companies that I really like. <clears throat> um, I really like Rockler a lot. You guys probably know that. They have sponsored quite a few things here in the shop, and they are so generous with uh, letting me try out their, their products. Um, but I, I switched from these blast gates here from Rockler, you can see. And the reason they clog, they clog quite a bit. And I got nothing bad to say about Rock River Company. This blast gate is manufactured all over the place. I think Wood River maybe makes one. I know Rockler makes one. Maybe some other companies as well. Uh, let me show you the upgrade we've done here. I'm gonna show you these, well, I'll just show you here. <clears throat> these um, butterfly valves from Woodpeckers. I'm not endorsed by them at all. Um, I purchased these on my own dime um, and these, dust collection, uh, this dust collection upgrade is fantastic. Now, I was in commercial HVAC for a little while. Well, I mean, we're talking like four months. Um, <clears throat> the first time I had left my public uh, retail career. Uh, ended up going back for about a year or so before I finally pulled the plug and started working for myself. But <clears throat> those butterfly valve um, adapters, those blast gates are unreal. Uh, I'm gonna link them down below for sure. Uh, I'm also gonna link the dust collector I have, the Dust Right by Rockler, which is fantastic. Please do not let a small accessory like this, which does work, don't get me wrong, but I've been pretty neglectful over the last year in not cleaning out the, you know, the track. So uh, it could be my fault. But with a butterfly valve, you're not ever gonna have to worry about that. Um, they were all over the commercial HVAC world. And honestly, like I said, the dust right, I'm gonna put that down below. I've done a, uh, an upgrade to that. We've installed a canister filter, which I have a canister filter on my Laguna uh, stand-up dust collection. It's exclusive just to the table saw. Uh, but this one, this one came out pretty good, and I'm gonna show you just you know a little clip here of how we installed it. So the first step is to remove the bag, and we've done that with a simple hose clamp and then you can see the foam tape it does come with the new setup but i have the existing one put on so i'm not going to need it and then take the new bracket we put it on just like so and they recommend doing this next step with a team lift but i was able to get it done by myself where i had a bolt in position and then i allowed myself a long arm on my drill to kind of suture it in place and then i went around and attached all the other bolts thusly as you see there Now that's a series of three fans underneath that jostle all the dust away from the filter from time to time. You can see a shot underneath of exactly how this works, even though the handle doesn't go all the way around. Now the next step in the process is to attach that foam tape on the very bottom. This is gonna give you an airtight seal on the dust bag that's gonna hang underneath. And again, I've kinda of got, my son's right behind me now. He actually stops the camera and then counts down the numbers on a new filming Two, session. Check it out. Three. Oh. 
you can kind of hear I almost fell. <laughs> Good Lord, he's so great to be in here. And now you see a really large hose clamp go around the bottom, holding the bag in place, and I like to get it nice and tidy. How cool is this? I'm telling you, if you don't have a shop stool or shop seat in your shop, you know, I edit <clears throat> still on my phone, and this, this thing, I used to have a little piece of patio furniture in here, and this is fantastic. One inch casters, and they hold me. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so that's just one of those little bent lamination chairs from Ikea. I, yeah, I gotta say I'm an Ikea fanboy. I like that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. Let me give you a closer look at it, hold on. There you go. There's your one inch casters. Look at this thing. Can you believe this? Crazy. Hold on, someone's at the door. It does have wheels. Then how are you moving? Are you just gliding on air? No. No. Then how are you sitting in this chair? Because I don't, doesn't have wheels. Okay, I'm going to push you over here. Or do you want to say hi to everybody? Look at the camera. Say hi. No? You don't want to say hi? <laughs> you don't like it. Okay, so a couple elephants in the room. I On this channel, I was doing a Building a Better Maker series. Uh, where I was trying to make healthier choices and all that, and I woefully failed. I did. I just failed. I just I got like 15 pounds down and whoop, <laughs> leveled off. Uh, and here we are. So, a um, couple things have to change. One, uh, I, it really is just my mindset on getting this right. Two is I am going to attempt every day when those kids get on that bus and go to school is to go do some type of physical activity, get my heart up. Get a sweat out in the morning, then have a productive day afterwards. So that's going to be kind of the plan. And I, I have no issues telling you guys that I'm failing at this. Um, man, it's tough. It's tough. It is tough for me. It's not tough for some. It's just tough for me. Um, anyway, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but I will tell you a simple little story here. Um, again, like I said, I got, I got some ductwork, some butterfly valves in these uh, blast gates. And it reminded me of working commercial HVAC for that brief period of time in my life a few years ago. And in terms of uh, the pricing and whatnot. So we all know that if, if an air conditioner or HVAC tech comes out to your house and you need to replace a capacitor, something small, you can order them on Amazon for like $12, maybe less. Um, that service call and that job might be $250, $300. And that's fine, okay? It seems like highway robbery. And people say, oh, that's crazy. I mean, well, it's not really crazy. Um, the people that have the knowledge about what's wrong with these complex systems, or if they're, they're not that complex, really, um, but they do take some, some knowledge to know. <clears throat> knowledge to know. That's a good one. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, you know, they got to put food on the table for their families, too. And, yeah, capacitors aren't that expensive, but... The knowledge on what went bad and, and what needs to be replaced and the fact that they have them readily available. I mean, there is some value in that. But I'll tell you a little story about this. So commercial HVAC, there was a job. <clears throat> it was a furniture store, a retail furniture store. And <clears throat> one of the, forgive me, I can't remember what this piece is called. But a rooftop unit is joined to a, a roof by a, by a chase, by a... They call it something else. We're going to call it like a, a tree trunk. <laughs> it looks like a small little fat little tree trunk that the unit sits on. Well, in this chase, if it was called a chase, uh, <clears throat> this chase that was ordered, um, it, the return and the supply were backwards. So no good, right? And it was the mistake of the general contractor hired by the owner. It wasn't our fault. So we had to get one manufactured. We had to get a sheet metal company to <clears throat> put their best mechanics on it and make one of these new pieces custom for this piece, have it shipped up here from Tampa, about a four hour drive. And the whole process was gonna cost us about $2,500. Um, and when he got on the phone with the owner, with the GC, he said, yeah, we can have it there. We can have it there in two days because the grand opening was four days ago. I mean, four days from now. He said, yeah, it'd be about $11,000, no problem. And it was like, I said, you could tell that the general contractor was like, holy mother of whatever, right? He said, well, we got grand opening. Okay, I got you. His hands were tied. 
And it was a simple move to take advantage of someone who just needed it, needed it quickly, needed it right then. Um, really, that shouldn't have cost that much. Um, and I asked him, I said, where'd you get that number from? He goes, ah, you know, we got bills to pay to you. I figured that up a little bit. How's he going to know? Well, soon after that, I left. I came back to Publix, not because of that reason. And, and I'm not talking any smack about the HVAC place. But um, <clears throat> it just, man, it's just, it's shocking sometimes. Now, I come from, my, my expertise is in retail grocery. And retail grocery has a very low profit margin, extremely low. In fact, no benefits whatever, whatsoever in terms of no free food, no discounts on food, groceries, nothing. We don't get anything. Um, uh, even fast food gets, gets free meals or half off their meals sometimes. Uh, but we have nothing. And the highest profit margin, it seemed like, in the country right now, or was when I was working, at least I heard of, was uh, jewelry. You know, diamonds and rubies and sapphires and all that gold, platinum. All that stuff is only worth something to people who think it's worth something. Right? It's not like a loaf of bread where you might need it. Well, I mean, you may, maybe I may. If I think I need bread, maybe that's why I'm not, not doing so well at the Build a Better Baker series. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I, I digress. Fact is, is that I'm away from those worlds now. And not that I can speak freely about them, but I do like to give you some insight kind of on just whatever I can, you know, especially on this small channel. You guys all are, I consider all you guys friends here, man. Absolutely. So <clears throat> this upgrade definitely was great for, for it to happen here in the shop. And like I said, kids are back in school now. Video production is going to ramp up. And uh, I think... I think it's time to do some more shop organizational stuff. I think, that's, uh, I think that's what I'm doing. I've got a ton of tools. You want to check this out? I'll give you a kind of a 360 here, okay? I've got a ton of stuff just around, okay? Now, this is not a shop tour because it's, it's just not. But if you want to rewind that and see what's going on, it's, things need to be put up, things need to be better organized, and I think... I've got some visions to make that happen. And that's the best part about being in a shop, and you guys know that, is that it's never really finished. It's never really finished. Everything could be perfectly immaculate, and you would find a corner to redo, to reset up, and that's the beauty of it. I absolutely love this place. And uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next video. And uh, yeah, take care.